The classic food pyramid is being scrapped for an icon meant to be a better representation of what actually goes on your plate. Health experts have said for a long time that the decades-old triangle was too confusing for the public to understand. Just another step in the nation's fight against obesity, First Lady Michelle Obama says they're already using it in the White House. Trust me, we are implementing this in our household. We've had a conversation about sitting down with Malia and Sasha and helping them think about how to choose their proportions, and this plate is a huge tool. The new plate-shaped image splits meals into four colored sections showing how many fruits, vegetables, grains, and proteins you should fill up on. Next to the plate is a circle for dairy. The basic idea is that you should fill half your plate with fruits and vegetables and about half with greens and protein. Dairy should be low-fat or fat-free. Nutritionists say the old pyramid won't be missed. We all talk about childhood obesity, childhood obesity, but we didn't give it any way to explain it to a child. This is a really simple way to explain to a ch child. Look at your plate, make it 50% this, make it a quarter this, make it a quarter that. This is like a very universal language for anyone to be able to follow. While the new icon may get more of us thinking about our diet, some dietitians caution the plate's still not completely full in some areas. For example, how to reduce sodium is not easily visualized by that plate, or how to get more whole grains, or even possibly what are the lean protein sources. And what now somewhat resembles a fun children's puzzle, the Obama administration says the plate icon is actually a piece of a larger one. Education also plays a role along with balancing diets with exercise and improving access to healthier foods all over the country. Kafidra Kassel, New York One.